Indie Mogul. Hello, I'm filmmaker Travis Betts, and welcome to Five Favorites on Indie Mogul. For many a year now, I've been known as the receptionist on YouTube. Uh, this is the channel where I post all of my original, hilarious, and dark short films. I also make feature films, including Joshua, Lowe, and The Dead Inside. Ever since I saw E.T. in the theaters as a kid, I have been addicted to coming attractions. So I thought it would be fun for my Friday Five favorites to explore the idea of the movie trailer. <laughs> Now, it's not really a secret that the studios are playing it safe these days and treating audiences like lemmings. So this first trailer I really love, it's a mashup of uh, the next Adam Sandler movie. In every family, there's one person. With footage of an old George C. Scott movie. She comes once a year and she's leaving on Sunday. And uh, basically it's George C. Scott's reaction to watching the Jack and Jill trailer. Uh, this is funny on a number of levels, but mostly because the Jack and Jill trailer looks so damn awful that we relate to George C. Scott sitting in this theater screaming for them to turn it off. I see me too. Jack and Jill. I'm sorry you had to see that, George. The next video I want to show you is a pitch-perfect parody of uh, basically any film that was made post-mumblecore movement and considers itself an indie darling. Out of the rain. Young hipsters sitting around talking about nothing, but at the same time talking about everything. Uh, this parody is brought to you by the channel How to Fake It in America, and if they hadn't added the hilarious fake reviews in the trailer, I would have thought that this was just another Sundance indie hand job. Next up, we have a compilation of seven horror movie trailers, all from the 70s. These unintentionally hilarious trailers are what I love about the old Grindhouse movies. They're graphic, they're erotic, they're manipulative, and they're awesome. Put together in one five-minute video, you get gems like... Lady Frankenstein. Beyond the darkness. Beyond the door. The night child. The legend of the wolf woman. Curse of the living dead. The night Evelyn came out of the grave. I love the 70s. Now, I wouldn't be a filmmaker if I didn't have just a little ego. So if I'm going to choose five favorites of anything, i got to throw some of my own work here in the mix. Uh, I made a parody trailer that basically explains my frustration with remakes, prequels, and sequels that is lovingly entitled, Remake the Prequel to the Sequel. Instead of locations and actual actors, I made this entire video out of construction paper. And that's a style I use from time to time. It's a lot of fun and it mocks all the regular cliches you see in movie trailers. Then where did he go? There wasn't even any blood. I don't know, Pearl! And Hollywood is a lot like a paper world. If you get it wet, it tears and sticks to you. Of course, I have saved the best for last. Now, unless you are Mel Gibson, religious films can be rough waters. When churches raise the money by themselves and write the script by themselves and cast all of their parishioners, things can get a little silly. I just wanted to dance and hang out, Dad. <laughs> and now, all of this. My final video is the Dancer vs. the Devil trailer, See Me Dance. When you looked at me, I saw God. When a young girl finds out she's dying of cancer, she also discovers that she has an unusual power to make people believe whatever she says. So when she decides to use that power to bring people to Christ... Man, this is gonna tick off the devil. That's right. When old Sulphur Ass himself shows up in this trailer, things get hardcore epic. That devil is ticked off. Those are my five favorite trailers on YouTube. As you can see, they are all here on the side now, so you can click any one you want to watch and it will take you there. I suggest watching all of these gems. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my pics and my face. Uh, and if you did, then uh, we should get to know each other a little better and you should subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my short films and all of my feature films that I post weekly. Thank you so much to Indie Mogul for allowing me to be here with you and to share my love of cinema with you.